What is going on guys? Welcome to the Driveway Demons channel. Today let's talk about why I traded my Land Rover in for a Jeep Grand Cherokee. <laughs> why I traded in my Land Rover for a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, there are a few really important reasons. I'm gonna put a picture right there on the screen to show you what it looked like, uh, the Land Rover I had, the interior, the exterior. I got the photos up there on the screen. I'm also gonna go ahead and post a picture up there on the screen of the Jeep and the Land Rover side by side the day that it was traded in. And the Jeep is actually a bigger vehicle. There is a lot more headroom and footroom, especially in the back seat. Now. The main reason that I did this is really because of the fact of the warranty. I had 42,000 miles on the Land Rover. They did pick up the car at my house, drop me off another Land Rover while they changed the oil, then bring that one back. I never even had to go to the dealer. Great warranty, but at 42,000 miles, I was really out of the bumper to bumper warranty. And not only that, I was paying more than I would be paying for this 2016 Grand Cherokee. So I ended up trading in uh, because of that reason as well. So the first reason is room, the second reason is full warranty, new vehicle, and the same price or cheaper. The Land Rover is just too much money for a used vehicle out of warranty. I liked it, but the Jeep has more features and it's just overall a better vehicle. What really killed it is when an acorn fell down and hit the panorama moonroof, it was over $4,000 in damages. Uh, and I just realized it's too much money for an older car. Insurance fixed it and I traded it in a week later. I just I love the Land Rover, but there wasn't a lot of footroom or headroom, especially for a child. My son was born and we we're trying to get him in the Land Rover and there just wasn't a lot of room. The Jeep was bigger. On to the third reason, the Jeep has 300 horsepower, whereas the Land Rover had 240. They're both all wheel drive. And I can tell you that as good as the Land Rover is, the Jeep is better in the snow and it's better in the all terrain as I have the altitude and it sits a little bit higher. So therefore it just overall is more of an off-road uh, you know, all-terrain vehicle. It's, it's just bigger, roomier, more power, better towing capabilities uh, than a four-cylinder turbo would be. So we're gonna come in here and you can take a look at the uh, inside the Jeep. It's definitely more roomy than a Land Rover would be. It doesn't make any sense to pay more for something out of warranty. You're just really paying for a name is all you're really doing. And there, there's no sense in just paying for a name. So I've always had, you know, fun with Jeeps. Uh, my wife had a 96 before this one as well so we're not new to jeeps so i really like the car and uh i just figured save money and get a newer car with a warranty and more power and a lot more room the room was the big key room and features uh it didn't have navigation the land rover i know it was an optional uh, feature but it didn't have nav uh, it didn't have park sense like the jeep has so between the backup camera and the left and the right camera as well as the front camera, you could watch them while you're driving. That's the one feature I miss. You can't do it in the Jeep. It just doesn't have it. So, but if you look at the pictures I showed you, the interior of the Land Rover, I haven't done any videos on the Jeep yet, and I just may be trading the Jeep in for the Durango SRT today, which is where I'm going. I'll have a video on that as well. But if we do, in fact, make that decision today, uh, then I'll have to do a review on this if we end up trading it in. So this way you guys will see more of this before it's gone because uh, the V6 Grand Cherokee is really good. It's all wheel drive. I didn't really know I was gonna be possibly trading it in, but when the SRT Durango got announced, I got a heck of a deal on the Hellcat, so I got that first. And so, you know, the wife can drive the SRT Durango and uh, I'll drive the Hellcat and then we'll share. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the Jeep is a really nice vehicle, but uh, this is, surprising with the mileage we put on it. We're almost out of warranty on this. 5,000 miles left. No sense in paying $35,000 or $30,000 for a vehicle out of warranty when we get an SRT and get five years or 50. So this video is just kind of short and sweet to show you the inside of the Jeep. We'll do a review on this at some point. The reason I traded in my Land Rover for the Jeep was quite simple. Uh, three main reasons. The first reason is out of warranty and more money than the Jeep, which was cheaper. So I was saving money and getting a newer vehicle under warranty. Reason number two, more room. This car has more room and more features, a lot more room, believe me. Uh, better all wheel drive. Third reason, more horsepower. This one has 300. Uh, the Land Rover is a little lighter, a couple hundred pounds lighter, but it had 60 less horsepower. So 
Uh, this car is faster, you do sit higher, it is bigger, and it is safer. It's overall a better vehicle. So that's the reasons why I traded in my Land Rover for a Jeep. Uh, it was an Evoque, a Range Rover Evoque. It was really nice, kind of sporty, a little sportier in this to a degree, but I like the Jeep better. So but those are my main reasons why, and uh, they're really good reasons, you know? So it's a fun vehicle, but it just may be uh, headed to a trade-in with the SRT Durango. If that's the case, I'm only gonna have another six weeks with the truck. And then it'll be the SRT Durango, and we'll have a lot of content for that. So remember, subscribe to the channel. I'm Corey with Driveway Demons. Have fun. Be safe.